Hi everybody! I know it's been a hot minute since I've filmed a video and I just really appreciate you guys tuning in and, and taking the time to watch this. It's a simple everyday look, more skin focused than eyes. I just kind of want to let you guys know like what I would wear on an everyday basis and it's super easy. If I can do it, literally anyone can do it. So um, yeah, if you do like this look, just go ahead and keep watching. We're gonna go ahead and start with my skin because yeah, my face has seen better days, that's for sure. I will be taking the Coconut Water Cream by First Aid Beauty. It helps hydrate, smooth, and recharge your skin. I use it as a primer. There's not like a super strong scent, but it just smells clean. Clean and coconutty. So I let that dry down for a little bit. Oh, my face feels so good, guys. You have to check it out. I will be using the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. I've used this in the channel before. It is one of my very, very favorite foundations I've ever used. I'm taking that onto my sponge. I said sponge this time. Am I the only one that calls every single sponge a beauty blender? <laughs> I'm so bad about that because Beauty Blender is actually a brand of sponge, but I always just say my Beauty Blender. But this is a real technique sponge. I don't think I've ever mentioned that. I absolutely love the finish of this foundation. For the price, it's just so full coverage. It's amazing. It, like you saw what my face looked like before this. The difference is incredible. I am going to take one more layer and just build up a little bit, especially on the outsides of my face. I tend to do that. I have a lot of acne scarring. Next is concealer. I am going to be using two different concealers today. One, Tarte Shape Tape. I'm sure you've probably heard of this. I don't know, it's kind of a hidden gem I just found. And then also the Clinique All About Eyes Concealer as well. I use the shade Medium and the Tarte, and I use the shade Light Golden in, in this one. Uh, this one is way lighter than the Tarte Shape Tape, so um, I like the coverage for this, but I like the color of this, and I think they pair really nicely together, so I love combining the two. So I like to blend my concealer all the way back there and like this emotion like this. I think it helps lift your eyes up. I'm going to set my face now. I'm using the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder and Banana. I just think for the amount that you get in here, it is so worth it. Like this will literally last me a lifetime. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then set the rest of my face in place. Wow, my face is white right now. My face is very wet. <laughs> Need to add a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna be taking the Rimmel Natural Bronzer um, to do a little bronzing today. I really love this bronzer because it is completely matte. There's no shimmer whatsoever in it. Uh, this is in the color 021 Sunlight. As you can see, it's just very matte, nice everyday bronzer, nothing too dark. I'm 
Now we are moving right along to blush. I am using a palette that's by Cover FX. It is this color right here. I always think that putting on blush is so funny just because you're just like smile to yourself. <laughs> Next is highlight. I'm using the Steve Laurent. Steve Laurent, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, this is Jelly Highlighter in the color Prosecco, please. This is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. And I discovered it like a month ago and literally have used it just about every single day since then. I love that it's jelly. I think it stays on your face so well. I usually use this and then another highlight on top of it. And the jelly, like the texture or the consistency of this makes the second highlighter just grip on better. So it's just like double the highlight is awesome. I use this every day for work because it's it's subtle, but it still, it still highlights your face really well. I usually will just take my pinky, pinkies up, we're fancy here, and just kind of brush it right like that. Guys, I could do this all day. Do a little bit on the tip of my nose. And then I also do it on my chin. And lately I've also been adding a little bit to my forehead, like right above my brow. All right, so I'm pretty excited to use this palette. I've actually never used it before, but this is the Butter London palette. Gorgeous packaging. This thing, like, this thing is sturdy. Look at that packaging. I just love it. That wood, um, that wood frame, it has a mirror. And then the colors are awesome because they're all, it reminds me of like a lot of earth tones. We have the blues and greens and browns and um, both shimmers and mattes in there. So um, I'm a big fan of that. But for this look today, I'm just going to be using one color. So we're going to be using this color right here, Diva. And the eyeliner I'm going to be using today is by Appeal Cosmetics. It looks like this right here. It's in the color Deep Taupe. It's a gel liner. I have used this before. It's very creamy, very easy to work with. Pretty much what I'm going to do is just line the outer half of my eye. Uh, I'm going to be kind of messy with it because I'm going to go in and blend it all out uh, towards the end. So I've laid that liner down on the outer half of my eye. Just going to go in and blend it all out. kind of took it out so it had a little bit of a wing. I think this is just really flattering for your eye shape. It makes your eyes look a lot bigger. Also, I like that it's brown. Brown is just, it's going to look more natural than black no matter what. I'm going to take that same eyeliner we were just using and apply a little bit to my lower lash line. So I'm just going to kind of dab it on my lower lash line. 
I'm going to go ahead and blend in where we just applied that liner. Just to kind of smoke everything, smooth it all out. So we're just going to do mascara, then our fake lashes. A good tip for doing your mascara is to kind of look down into your mirror like I'm doing right here. That way you can see exactly where your lashes start and you can get closer to the lash line that way. I'm going to go off camera, apply some lashes, and then I will be right back. Okay, <laughs> I'm only halfway done with putting on my lashes, but I did just want to stop for a second and just show the difference that um, falsies make. Like, like, I have a good, like, two layers of mascara on this side. And I have baby lashes, so they're, they're very, very small lashes, naturally. But, oh my gosh, look at this eye compared to this eye. It's just such a huge difference. So, that's why I don't think a look is complete without lashes. Just saying. Okay. All right, lashes are on. We just have a couple of steps left. I'm going to take some of that same mascara and apply it to my lower lashes. Now we just have lips, and then um, we'll put some setting spray on, and we'll be good to go. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This is in the color 65 Seductress. This is my uh, my go-to number one liquid lipstick in this shade as well. It is a very nice everyday color. Once this is on, it ain't going anywhere, so you better be committed to that color. This stuff is such a bitch to get off. Like, you really have to scrub, which I don't mind if it's not, like, rubbing off my face the whole night. Then I don't mind taking the time to take it off. I know it dries down now, and I love that, but I do want to add a little bit of sparkle to my lip. So I'm going to be taking the Appeal Holographic Lip Gloss. It really just depends if you're looking for more of a matte look. Leave it how it is. The, the matte is beautiful. Um, I have just like lately been into more of a, a shimmery hydrated look especially if my face is super glowy I want to keep the glow coming okay very last thing um, I'm gonna set my face with some set with some setting spray um, I'm using the urban decay all-nighter setting spray uh, everybody's moms sisters aunts grandpas brothers daughter knows about this stuff and uses it. It is the best setting spray on the market. So this is the finished look. I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I know there's a lot of other things out there that anyone could be doing, so I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. If this Is this something that's too simple? Do you like to see more extravagant eye looks? Or is this, or do you like um, everyday simple looks too? So I had a lot of fun filming this. And again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.